Good morning. Uh, welcome to um, uh, Burra. Um, it's freezing cold here, as you can tell by the attire, and it uh, it is affecting um, these batteries. Um, so we're here. I'm not sure if you got that before. We're here at Burra. Um, there is a, a little house out here that I've come to uh, photograph. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh, we're rushing against the light, um, but this is a series of. Uh, of of um, images in this episode about uh, the impact of man on on the landscape. So um, I've got a series of uh, um, derelict buildings or parts of buildings that I want to photograph. There's three in total, and this is the first. So let me get on and uh, and see what we can pull together. Okay. So well, first of all, let's uh, let's make sure that we. We got a level, and you can see this old house here. Um, I'm going for the the classical shot, which is a house slap bang in the middle of our composition, which it is now. There we go. And we don't need F. 26. It's obviously changed in my bag. And that should do us. Uh, beautiful moody sky. Uh, what I am going to do is, I'm, well, I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, adjust our settings. I'll throw it into manual for the time being. Oops, I accidentally took one. Never mind. Um, so, so it's saying about twenty seconds. Um, I might want to touch more than that, but I think we'll we'll, we'll start off as we mean to go on. I'm going to throw on a grad. Um, rather than exposure blend, I'm just going to try and get these in single shots. So, again, speed with very cold hands. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's unusual for me to be um, dressed up with my fleece and with a hat. Uh, summer's officially ended and we're now coming into autumn. But all the same, it's not, not what I expected. There we go. And that's just balancing that sky out. Darken it a bit so I can get that foreground in. Um, that'll probably come down from F16 because we don't need everything in focus. I think that should do us. Let's make sure that we've focused. Let's make sure we focus in on the house. That's the house done. Very simple. ISO 100, F11, 20 seconds.
So, so this this building, yes, it's a. Uh, uh, I believe it's um, Australia's most photographed house, um, believe it or not, for this little, little, um, um, little house here, uh, which doesn't doesn't look that impressive, but it was made famous um, by uh, a, 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 a very well-renowned photographer called Ken Duncan, who photographed this, and it 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 was um, it was used on. Um, on a band, uh, I think they're called Midnight Oil, um, or, or, as their album cover, which went, uh, which did extremely well here in Australia. I think it's called Diesel and Dust, or oh, it might be Dust and Diesel. No, Diesel and Dust, I think. Um, and so, yeah, so it's a famous house, and everyone, every photographer, everyone in South South Australia, I think, has photographed this. So, um, so yeah, so there you go. A little tiny bit of history on this one. Um, so I've done this one straight on. I'm going to go off to the right behind you, and we're going to shoot back this way and see if we can, uh, if we can, if we can um, get an angle on that house with some of those hills in the background. <laughs> oh, it's further than you think. Okay, so we've come off to one side, and. I'm just going to So I'm going to set up this composition. So we've got this house. And don't want those ruins in just to the right-hand side, I don't think. And those hills just to the back, which are looking very, very nice. There's a line of trees which uh, sort of draw your eye from their house. So, um, as ever, we're just going to focus on this house. I'm going to just check the histogram, which you can see, is nicely in the middle, slightly off to the right. So I am going to adjust using our f-stop and go to f14, just to centralise. Just to centralise that. There we go. That's. Uh, Oops, let's make sure we focus properly on our house. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. So you can tell the clouds too thick for us to, uh, as you can tell the clouds too thick for us to get any sunrise, sun, um, sun color, sunrise color. But uh, I'm more than happy uh, not having that. I'm just going to pull this down a touch and adjust our grad so I can retain the detail in those clouds. That should do us. Absolutely gorgeous. There's there's a lot of thick cloud off as you've seen and, and, and behind you. I was hoping for a break that would throw some light on those hills uh, behind, but you know there's uh there's not much we can do about that. Uh, I would love to get in closer with the wider wider lens, um, low down with those hills behind and really you know, exaggerate the angle 
at the angles, but unfortunately, um, uh, this is private land, so you're not allowed to trespass. Um, and so I, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't do that at all. I'd respect the property and make sure that the, you know, the owners um, keep this because they, they, could, they could demolish this if they wished. Um, although it is an icon and brings people here, I don't think the owners actually gain any benefit from it, except for its notoriety. Um, I would suggest that they put a, a concessionary little box saying, you know, because um, it costs money to, to, as you can see, this land's been, um, been mowed or quite heavily, or maybe, maybe they have a crop on here. But it still costs money to, you know, to keep this field as it is for us photographers. So uh, maybe if you're out there, put a, you know, a, a, a donations box out, out here, and I'd be happy to, to throw, you know, ten or twenty dollars in just to, for this upkeep to make sure that future photographers have an opportunity to come and photograph it. Okay, so while we're while we've got the opportunity, I suppose a couple of long exposures um, um, will be in order. I'm going to do one from here and then I'm going to go back to straight on and do one from there. Um, the reason why I'm going to go from here first is the, is, the, uh, is, the, is the clouds are actually running this sort of way towards those hills rather than over my shoulder and over the top of the house. So I think this angle might work better or indeed maybe from the far end so with the with the clouds coming this way so I'll, i'm going to throw on a, um, a, a, a an nd grad and we can see um, what we can get from that let's have a look at our nissi app so shutter speed at the moment 15 seconds three stop gives us uh, two minutes uh, six stop, which would be too much, because it's 16 minutes. I think we'll go with the two minute exposure. So, oops, it's a daisy. Walk straight into the barbed wire here. Okay, so, because it's so cold, there is a slight bit of misting on the front. So let's, uh, Let's correct that and we're going to first stage let's focus on what's the important thing which is the house we can now slip on our three stop into the nearest slot the reason why we do the nearest slot is because there's a gasket there that prevents any light from sneaking in and around the ND grad. And then we'll pop on our soft grad. And let's just move that down. There we go. Now we said with our three stop that we should be able to get two minutes. That's really looking like it's pushing. So yeah, so lights risen. It's really pushed it out right over to the right hand side on that on the histogram. You can see the histogram is right over the right and clipping. Um, so I think we can pull it. F16 sort of gives it F18. More comfortable with that. I uh, don't mind slight softening of the edges. This is a long exposure. So that should do us. There we go. Two minutes, let's see. See how that cloud impacts on this uh, composition.
Right. Okay. Let's, um, let's do this once again. I'll probably do this at the widest setting this time. So we're at 32. I'll probably lose some of the edges. So it's just uh, just this. And again, focus and two minutes. Going to just. Be aware of that. Two minutes looks okay. Wider setting, 32 mil. Um, ISO 50, F16, two minutes. How wonderful. It was well worth a two and a half hour drive um, to get here. And uh, considering that the forecast was for uh, high cloud and, and about 15, 20% of, of medium high cloud, medium cloud, and I arrived and it was <laughs> so low, you know, it was low cloud. I was a bit despondent. I thought maybe this wouldn't work today. Um, and a five hour round trip for nothing you know really uh, i was slightly disheartened uh, but as ever you know when that light rises uh, so do your spirits so i think that's why i do sunrise i do sunrise because uh, regardless of whether you get an image or not you get that euphoric feel of a brand new day and that just sets you up just to you know it boys your spirits i think um so all you out there if you you know, sometimes feel that your, son, your, your, your photography isn't great, then just think of it as just going out and watching the sun come up. You know, start the day watching the sun come up and there's nothing better, believe you me. The, the, the photography is so important to me. Um, the feeling of well-being I get and, and sharing it with you. I, I, well, I'm, I'm always blown away that there's an audience out there who wants to watch me prattle on. Thank you for joining Rafi and I here at uh, a borough and the midnight oil house thoroughly enjoyed myself um i think coming up next should be fingers crossed that that video works um should be wallaroo and uh, so if it doesn't come up in the next 15 seconds or so it means it was a complete disaster but if not and it's a success here it is <laughs>